Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how I made Submerged, my latest track, and I'm going over some parts. And my plan is to let you guys ask some questions and then in the next video I will answer those questions uh, about the track. But this video is just going over the general thing and the general track and I'm very curious about what you guys think of the track, so let me know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe and to like the video because that will help me out a lot. So let's take a look at it. So when I'm producing a track, generally I make uh, some groups. Uh, I have a group for the lead, I have a group for the kick, and then I have some other random sounds that I just put under there. Percussion, uh, another group is called the mid. And what I did in this track, I recorded my own vocals. I'm always very scared to do that, but this time I thought, okay, this will work out. And what I did, I recorded the main vocal and I added some harmonies. I've been running through the night, through the night. I've been running through the night, through the night. I've been running through the night, I've been running through the night, through the night. Everything's silent, everything around. And as you can hear, it does not really sound that good, but it doesn't really matter because this part here kind of adds a lot of texture to it. Everything's silent. Everything's silent. And I just put a lot of auto-tune on uh, the harmonies and that way they sound good. So I just wanted to share a little bit about this track. Um, I made this track a few months ago when it was midwinter here in the Netherlands and I just didn't feel too good. I was working my ass off. I was a few weeks in bed due to COVID and, uh, and the flu. Because of that, I, I have had a lot of time to think about myself. And, and even though I, I like prayed a bunch and had a bunch of meditation, I still felt like I was running from something. And that is what this track is about. And even though these times were tough, it was an opportunity to look at myself, to stand still and to realize, okay, what am I here for? What do I believe? Who am I? And I've discovered that it is okay to feel stuck at times. And it's okay to not feel like you have control of the situation that you're in. And I hope this track really shows you what it feels like to be submerged in a situation that you do not like. And um, I hope the emotions and the melodies and the vocals bring out all of that. And I'm feeling a lot better now. Don't worry about me. So why am I telling you this? Well, I think it's good to have an idea before you start a track. Um, when you're making melodies and you want to make a whole track out of it, try to come up with an idea that you are going to work with. And that idea can be very simple. And that simple idea gives you guidance in the choices you made when producing the track. So in this case, I just came up with the melody by playing the piano. And when I made this part, I decided to add the voice before that. So the melody for my track, it kind of has a dark feeling to it. And that feeling you get by using the harmonic minor scale. Regular minor scale will sound something like this. But if we move this note up, one semitone you get the harmonic scale. I did not only add these notes to the chords, but I also added them to the melody itself and I also added them to different voices of the melody. And I will show you that. So this is the melody on its own. But I also added different voices. And when I play them together, they sound like this. And those three together, they sound like this. And here's a tip for the Ableton users. What I did in the past is when I changed a part of the melody, I had to copy the melody over and over again. Um, and I did not want to do that anymore. So what I have now is I have one dedicated MIDI track, which is this one. And it does not play anything. It does not have an instrument on it. But all the sounds get the input from that track. So if I take one of the main lead sounds, I don't have this setting here on automatic or on off, but I have the input on and I have the input from 
the MIDI from track 64. And that track is this one. And for the other voices, which are these, I have those inputs on 65 and 66. And this has helped me a ton with my workflow. Okay, if I open up the percussion, you will see a lot of sounds here. And these are the intro sounds. And these sounds, they help to tell the story um, of what I'm singing in the next part. So to be clear, I won't show you everything in this video, but you need to ask the questions in the comments so I can react to them later and I can make a video about that. And right now I'm going to show you the last thing that I want to talk about. I want to talk a little bit about how you get the energy in the track and how you get the movement and everything going, you know. There's a few ways I did that. And I will just let you hear the sounds with and without the rest of the track. And of course, the main thing that helps everything keep going is the percussion. So I will just solo the percussion and you will hear how it sounds. And sometimes you don't need a lot of things to add movement. In the second part, I just added a kick on a 4-4 beat to just keep the track flowing, you know? So thank you for watching. This is only the first video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments about every part of the track. Um, I will link my track in the description and you can just ask what question you have about what timestamp of the video that will help me a lot to understand what the question is about and also let me know if you have any honest feedback in how I present the things and if I should like move my cursor less or more or if I should open up the instruments or anything like that let me know I really want to know I want to improve those tutorials and I want to help you guys improve at making music so yeah that's it and I will see you next time